Okay, welcome back. Now that we've got our hosting and our domain name hooked up, they're, they're pointing at the right place, now what we want to do is we want to put something there. We want to put up a website. And the way that you create web pages is through what's called an, H, what's called an HTML editor. The one I choose is the one you're seeing right here. It's called Dreamweaver. Uh, I, it was one of those things I got reluctantly. Um, I got, a, got around by just doing little tweaky things um, to create web pages for about a year. But then I was recommended to pick up Dreamweaver because it was going to make my life a lot easier. And I did, and I'll tell you, this is a tool that I use every single day, just about every single day. So it was money well spent. Now, Dreamweaver has a 30-day trial. Um, then it's like 300 bucks. I'm not saying go get Dreamweaver. What I'm saying is get some sort of HTML editor, and if you do a quick Google search, you'll find a free one. Uh, and start there, and when you're ready, get one of the more robust tools like Dreamweaver or Front Page. But it will be one of the most important things that you use when you're creating web pages for, for your business. So let me just show you real quick how to create a simple web page. We're going to go up here to File. We're going to click New. And we're just going to select a basic page and click Create. And you're just going to get a blank screen. You can see right here we just got a blank screen. And we're split between the code view and what people will see view. And the way that you write stuff on your new web page is you just start writing it. Here is my new site. Okay, that's really all there is to it. Now, but what I want to do is I want to show you a couple things that I think you'll find valuable if you're going to create, uh, say, a lead capture page or um, a, a page where you're pre-selling people on joining your business or anything like that. The way that I always like to do this is pretty simple. Is I will go up to the top in Dreamweaver and I'll click the button marked insert. And what I want to insert is called a table. So when you see sales pages out there on the internet, what they're mostly made from is a simple one table sort of a website. Now you don't understand what that means, but I'll show you. So we want run one row, one column, and we want the width six five or six hundred is good. I'll make this one six hundred. You'll see what that means. Uh, border is it means if you have a border around the table. Cell padding is how much space there is between the border and your text. Cell spacing, same sort of thing as cell padding. N nothing to really worry about. But for cell padding, border. If you want a border, you might put one. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you don't want any sort of a border, just put zero. We don't want a border right now. We just want everything to look clean and nice and pretty. So cell pad 10 is good. So just stick with something like that. And you click OK. And now we have our table. Now it's weird if we have it over to the right. So what we want to do is click on it like that. And then scroll down to the bottom here where it says align and click align center. Now you see what it did? It put that table in the middle. Now, if we were going to write a sales page, here's how you do it. So that would be our headline. Then we would say, dear friend. And we just do a comma. This is going to be the most important website you ever see and then we fill that in with text more text and more text we sign out at the bottom to the top Dagan and what what I like to do is make the headline nice and red and bold so the way we do that in HTML editor is we come over here and we also want to center this, so you'll see what I mean, is you go to the type of font you want to use. I like to use Tahoma, and we click a size, so let's call it 24. We want to make it bold. Now we have a nice bold headline, and we want to make it red. Headlines are always good in red, not green, red. 
and let's of course center that so now we just click that button that puts it in the center and we have a nice looking web page what we do next is we just I like to make my text not just a regular old default default sort of a text I u like to use um, a nice font like Tahoma again that'll work and size 14 is good for me if you want to bold stuff you just highlight it click the bold button again same thing down here at the bottom that's all you really need to put up a website if we wanted to link something so let's say we want to link that piece of text right here at the bottom there's a little um, tab where you can put in a link and we'll just make this link to dagensmith.com and we have a link now that's a live link now if we want to put this page up on the internet what we want to first do is save it so we go up here we go to file click save and we'll call this file and we'll go to just the desktop so it's easy to find um, test website okay we'll click save now we have our tech test website created so we close out Dreamweaver or whatever um, editor you're using and you'll see I have a bunch of stuff on my desktop please excuse it here's what we just made this little page right here and you can see this is what people will see when they go to the net looks pretty familiar same sort of format as a normal page if we click this link right here it's gonna go back to my home page so what we're left with now is how to actually get this to our domain hosting so that's what we're going to show you how to do in the next video